Use the table below, which is from a study on heart disease and smoking, to find the probability that a randomly selected member of the study was a smoker, given that they have heart disease. So let's look at the key words for this problem. Find the probability. So we know we're working a probability problem. That a randomly selected member, so one member of the study, was a smoker, given that they have heart disease. Okay, so the phrase find the probability tells me it's a probability problem. The fact that we're selecting just one member of the study and we have the phrase given that indicates to me that it's conditional probability. So remember, the given that phrase is a key word for conditional probability. We're just selecting one subject. It's just a basic, classic conditional probability. Okay, so this problem reads, the probability that the subject was a smoker given that they have heart disease. So let's write that down. Probability of smoker given heart disease. Okay, now, once we have that expressed, we want to then, because the table is laid, the data is laid out in a table, we want to use the shortcut formula. That means we focus only on this condition in the back. Remember, it's this condition that we know is true. It's this condition that we assume to be true, we know has happened, and we're asking what's the probability that the person was a smoker, given that we know this to be true. So what that means is we should focus all our attention on this only. Only look at the group who has heart disease and then ask that your question probability of a smoker out of that group, right? So we're going to focus all our attention on the heart disease either column or row. Well, when I look at the problem here, I can see that the data for heart disease is all located here, right? All of it is there. So heart disease is that first column of data. What we want to do for the shortcut method is to look at the numbers that you circled and notice that the total will always be your denominator. So you're going to want to start out with in your fraction, that number 39 as your denominator. Then from there, you want to go ahead and look at the remaining two numbers and ask yourself which of these remaining two numbers corresponds to the group who were smokers. So we have 25 and 14. 25 is clearly the number that corresponds to smokers. So we're going to go ahead and put that at the top, and that is our fraction, and that's our solution to the problem, 25 divided by 39. Okay, so let's see what that works out to be. 25 divided by 39 we end up with the answer 0 0.641 or 64.1%. Okay, so one more time on the interpretation part of it. Um, what we know here to be true for sure is that the subject has heart disease. That's a given that condition. We assume that that's true. We assume we know that. Given that the person has heart disease, what's the probability that they were smokers? About 64.1%.